Good evening, beloved. Welcome to First Wednesday Worship here at the Charity Missionary Baptist Church. We we'll go before you now that we prepare for the call to worship. All who are able, all who are able, virtually as well as in the building, let's please stand. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Together, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Praise God from whom our blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Your name, healer, 
you are and heal her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's say it again. I call you healer. I call you healer. You are a healer. I call you healer. Your name. Healer you are. And healer and healer you be. Yeah. 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 I call you all that. Your name. You have been all that to me. I call you all that. Your name is all that. All that you are and all that you be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I call you all that. Say, I call you all that. Your name. Come on, say, you have been all that. you be yeah 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 say yeah 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 come on say yeah 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 say yeah 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 one more time say yeah Scripture reading, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, starting at verse 25. We're going to end at verse 34. Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or clothes to wear. Is it life more than food? and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat, what will we drink, what will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. The final verse, 34, so don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. God's word for God's people. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us now go before the Lord, Lord God of heaven, and we thank you for another first Wednesday night. Lord, you brought us down through this year. You moved obstacles seen and unseen, known and unknown, and you brought us now to this very hour. Lord, we ask you now to have thine own way. It's worship. 
and we come to worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless this preacher and give Evangelist Simmons that which she needs to bring forth a word. Lord, we know you've already given it to her. Let it be manifest before your people. Now, Lord, bless us as we continue to fight the good fight of faith, that we will not become weary in well-doing. If we don't faint, you said you'll bring us through. We look forward to what you're going to do tonight. We turn it all over to you now. In the name that is above every name, the name that has no match, no equal, no successor, and no predecessor, his name is Jesus. And he is our very present Christ. For his name and your name, Father, we say, Amen, amen, even amen. Ain't no need to worry what the night is gonna bring. It'll be all over in the morning. It's offering time. And remember always, God loves a cheerful giver. Amen.
thank everyone for giving to bless the offering. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for each and every one that give, that we use this offering to continue to build your kingdom up. Amen. Beloved, we're excited to bring before you one of our preachers. The Lord gave us a vision, oh, more than a year or so ago, that to give our preachers a chance to bring forth a word of those who are not yet ordained. We've been doing this, and now for the month of August, we have a sister from Hollywood, like they should, a preaching somebody. Somebody knows the Lord, and more importantly, the Lord knows her. So without any further ado, we ask you to hear now and give a hand clap of praise to and for Evangelist Sandra Simmons. Holler when you hear her. That's my testimony. I never would have made it without the Lord on my side. Amen. Thank and praise God for the song. Amen. We do give honor, amen, to the spirit of Christ that's here, to our beloved pastor, 
Pastor Nelson Rivers, Sister Carolyn Rivers, amen to my deacon and deaconess Barry, Sister Melvin, all the ministers of, of the roster, praise God, to uh, the deacons, deaconesses, amen, the charity family, amen. I thank God for you all. Thank you all for your encouragement, amen. I thank Pastor for this opportunity, amen, to bring forth the word on tonight, Amen. And I thank God for the introduction. Amen. Yes, I'm by way of Hollywood, South Carolina. Amen. Um, also, I want to give a special shout out. Amen. To the Saints of Fires. Amen. Saint of Fires, the, our um, fulfillment hour class. Amen. I know some of you all are out there listening. Amen. I got some family out there listening. So, Thank God for you all, for your support. Amen. Thank God and thank God for our uh, sound booth, Sister Phyllis. Amen. And all those, who, amen, who uh, makes up the body of Christ. Amen. And now that that is out of the way, amen, we're going to move on into the word on tonight. Amen. Because there is a word on tonight. Tell somebody there is a word on tonight. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus. Father, we just want to tell you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord God. Father, we ask right now that you let Sandra decrease, Lord God, that your spirit may make increase. And then God, give us an ear to hear what the spirit has to say in Jesus name. Let all hearts say amen amen and amen amen our scripture already been read uh in your hearing by reverend seabrook thank you reverend seabrook uh but i want to emphasize amen um on the 33rd verse amen where i will draw my text amen the word of god says and he will give you all he will give you all Praise God, need from day to day if you live for him and make the kingdom of God your primary concern. Amen. Uh, also, I want to read it from the King James Version. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So tonight I want to simply speak from the subject, first things first. Amen. We will find in our text, amen, this portion of the Sermon on the Mount uh, is summarized by the statement, seek ye first the kingdom of God. The disciples who have pledged their allegiance to the king must continue seeking the kingdom and its righteousness. Well, God is telling us that today. Amen. He's telling us as his disciples, as Christians, amen, that we must seek first, not last, but we must seek first. Now tell somebody first things first. Amen. We must seek first the kingdom, say kingdom of God, not the kingdom of the world. Amen. We must seek spiritual things. And these things he's talking about, Material things, they will be added unto you or they will be given to you. Seek, amen, is the translated, seek is translated in the Hebrew word face. So we want to seek God's face. We want to seek his presence and not his hands. In other words, amen, we don't want to, uh, you know, want to, uh, use God, if you would say, or want God, should I say, just for what he can gives us, give us or what he can do for us. Amen. When our priority is spiritual, God will take care of the materials. For where God guides, he provides. Amen. Matter of fact, God said, don't worry about everyday life. Or be anxious about tomorrow. Amen. For tomorrow will take care of the things of its own. Tomorrow has its own problems. Glory to God. Today has its own problem. Amen. You know, praise God, sometimes, amen, we're, we're, you know, like I said, we're thinking about tomorrow and tomorrow hadn't even got here yet. Some of us thinking about next week. Amen. So that's why he says, amen, tomorrow will take care of the things of itself. Amen. Just think about the things of today. Amen. Because today has its own problem. Amen. Today has 
enough problems for itself. Amen. God can take care of the birds. Amen. If God take care of the birds, amen, and Jesus can can take two fishes and five loaves of bread and feed a multitude, amen, do you not think, glory to God, that God can and God will take care of you? Glory to God. Amen. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Of course not. I think I need to say that again. Amen. I need to ask the question again. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Of course not. Amen. So don't worry about, amen, don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to drink, praise God, or, or, or what you're going to wear. Glory to God. Don't worry about these things. For God knows, amen, God knows what we have need of. In the book of Philippians 4 and 19, it says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God shall supply, amen, he will give you all that you need, glory to God, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, amen, somebody is worrying on tonight, praise God, somebody is worrying, I heard somebody say, amen, if you're going to pray, don't worry, hallelujah, and if you're going to worry, don't pray, glory to God, praise God. Glory to God. Amen. We got to know, praise God, that God, amen, knows what we need. Amen. And you need to be encouraged on tonight, praise God, that whatever you had need, need of, praise God, he knows, amen, before we even ask. Glory to God. Amen. For God is concerned about you. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is concerned about you. Glory to God. In 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, it says, in everything. I like this here. I, 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 this is one of my favorite uh, scripture, praise God. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Glory to God. He didn't say for all things, but in all things, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you glory to God amen we don't thank God for this virus and the pandemic amen and all that's going on glory to God we don't thank him for it amen but we're going to give him thanks even in the pandemic amen can I get a witness that we're going to still give God some praise amen glory to God amen for he says seek God first amen put him first trust him glory to God Trust him, glory to God. In Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Somebody's with me. Amen. He shall direct your path. Glory to God. God is faithful, y'all. Glory to God. He is faithful. Amen. He's an on-time God. Amen. I heard somebody said he may not come when I want him to. Amen. But he is an on-time God. Yes, he is. Glory to God. He is our way maker, our burden bearer. He is, amen, our heart fixer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I have to ask you a question. Amen. I, I want to give you something to think about. Glory to God. Have he, amen, brought you out before? Amen. Have he made a way out of no way? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have he done these things? I believe he have, praise God. Glory to God. So if he done it before, guess what? Somebody's with me. Amen. If he done it before, he can do it again. Glory to God, praise God. That's just the kind of God we serve. Glory to God. First things first. Amen. Wait on God. Hallelujah. I believe that's what it is. Amen. With the body of Christ, praise God. Sometimes we just don't want to 
wait glory to God but he says to wait on the Lord amen I like the way he put it in Isaiah 40 and 31 for he says but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up on wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not Thank glory to God. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, for he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Glory to God, my God, my God. I feel real good, y'all. I feel real good deep down in my sanctified soul. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I find out, praise God, that there are blessings. Amen. When you put God first, amen, when you just put first things first, amen, there's a blessing. Glory to God. Amen. In the book of Malachi, amen, the third chapter, we read this every Sunday, amen, before our tithes and offering. Amen. In the 10th verse, it says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there will be enough food in my tent or in my house. Amen. If you do, says the Lord, Almighty. He says, if you do this thing, glory to God, and guess what the blessing is? I will open the windows of heaven for you. Amen. For you. Amen. Glory to God. He said, I will pour out my God, my God. Can you stand to be blessed? Huh? He said, I will pour out a blessing so great. Ah, oh, my, my, my. Ain't no little bit of blessing, amen. No little blessing or tiny blessing, praise God. He says, so great, amen, that you won't even have room enough to receive. My God, my God. He said, you won't have enough room even to take it in. Amen, glory to God. He says, try it. Mm-hmm. Let me prove it to you. My God, my God. Have you tried Jesus, amen, see, you may have tried other things, amen, running to this one or that one, but have you tried Jesus? Glory to God. Amen, glory to God, I must leave you now. Glory to God, I must leave you now, glory to God. But if you would just allow me just to take a few minutes to share my testimony. Amen, I put first things first. Glory to God, I trust God. I waited and I waited on the Lord, glory to God. Amen, when it just seemed like, uh, my God, my God, that all hope was gone. Uh, glory to God, my God, when I felt like throwing in a towel, uh, when I felt like giving up, glory to God, my God. Uh, God stepped in uh, right on time. Uh, God said in his word, uh, my God, my God, uh, my ways is not your way, uh, nor is my thought your thought, uh, for it's higher than yours. Uh, Glory to God, praise God. Uh, see, before the pandemic, glory to God, there were some things uh, that I was praying for. Uh, there were some things uh, that I was believing God for uh, for years ago, praise God. But look at God. Uh, it don't take God long uh, if he want to bless you like that. Glory to God. That's why, praise God, I stand on Ephesians 3 and 20. It says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can even ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Glory to God. My, my, my. Praise God, I tell you what, when you put first thing first, see, God blessed me spiritually and materialistically. He blessed me. Amen. He blessed me spiritually where, where during this time I, I was able to pray more. I was able to seek his face more. Glory to God. I was able to get in the word more. Amen. Able to, to encourage others more. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. We know, praise God, that some folks and I, I, those one in the in the number amen that lost their job or or had the uh, uh job ended should i say not lost but job ended because of the virus because of the pandemic amen but i thank and praise god amen the way that i thought he was gonna do it he didn't do it that way praise god but he blessed me anyhow tell somebody he blessed her anyhow thank you jesus
us. Amen. I'm not, amen, like I, I heard pastors say, praise God, if, if I begin to tell you all that he done for me, praise God, you might think I'm bragging. Glory to God, I'm not bragging because you don't know my story. I'm just giving God all the glory. My God, my God. See, he just kept on blessing me over and over again. Uh, I needed some repair done on my house, praise God. And when I wanted to go another avenue, it didn't work that way. But the Lord blessed me in this season. Glory to God that is done. Uh, he gave me favor. Glory to God, praise God. Amen. And then most of all, he blessed me with a grandson. Glory to God. I'm so excited. Amen for my grandson amen and then he blessed me and, and, and just don't stop there i'm telling you he just kept on blessing me over and over again praise god he blessed me amen financially praise god when i was able to pay off some debt hallelujah ain't that good y'all where well, you can pay off some debt i'm not talking about getting in debt amen i paid off some debt Glory to God, praise God. And then the Lord allowed me, amen, to change my mind. Glory to God. Concerning my, 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 concerning my finance. Glory to God. Amen. And yes, yes, I gave increase in my tithing. I'm happy about that because God said he loved a cheerful giver. Glory to God. My God, my God. What a mighty God we serve. Glory to God. And not only, amen, that the blessing that he gave me, praise God, and, and, and he allowed others to bless me, amen, and I bless others, amen. God, how many of y'all really know, amen, that we're blessed to be a blessing? Glory to God. It's nothing like when you got the favor of God on your life. Glory to God. But I know, praise God, that the best is yet to come. Glory to God. Amen. One night, amen, as I was praying, as I was in prayer, praise God, the Lord told me, glory to God, that my latter days, my, 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 going to be greater than my former days. See, I done been through some stuff, y'all, but nobody but the Lord kept me. Glory to God. When Even when I couldn't keep myself. Glory to God. My God, my God, thank you, Jesus. Amen. I know I'm not the only one, amen, have been blessed, amen. I've seen, amen, folks blessed with houses and cars and lands, amen, jobs, amen. God just kept blessing us all over again, amen. Glory to God. Amen. Just tell somebody, tell somebody next to you, tell them this is my season to be blessed. Glory to God. This is my season to be blessed. Glory to God. I just thank God, amen, for having a relationship. Mm -hmm. Not a religion, amen, but I have a relationship with God, amen. I thank God, praise God, for being saved on tonight, amen. I thank God for being filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, amen. I thank God, amen, that I have a mind, amen, to serve the Lord all the way, amen. Because the word of God says, praise God, nothing shall separate me from the love of Christ, praise God. Thank God for being God. Thank God for his son, Jesus, who died on the cross, that we may have a right to the tree of life. Thank God for his son, Jesus. Yes, he died. He was buried in a borrowed tomb. My God, my God. But I'm so glad, praise God. Aren't you glad, amen, that Jesus, he didn't stay there. Glory to God. He got up with all power in his hand. They told me it was early, early early on Sunday morning huh, that he got up yes he did God's not dead he's still alive glory to God remember put first things first I find space in what I treasure I make time for what I hide you my priorities but Jesus you're my number one so I will make room for you I will prepare for two so you don't feel that you can live here. Please live in me. 
Praise God. We just thank and praise God for the word that came before you. And I, I pray that you all have been blessed and you've been encouraged on tonight. Praise God. And now this is the time that we're going to open up uh, the church. Amen. We call it for discipleship. Amen. There may be someone out there that do not know the Lord for the pardon of their sin. They have not made God their personal Savior. So this is the time, this is the time uh, that you can come just as you are. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Like I said, well, silent give consent. Amen. And so at this time, if if, if anybody need prayer, amen, or, or if you want to intercede on the behalf of someone else, this is the time that you can come. Amen. And, and, uh, Give it all to the Lord. Put it to the altar where he promised to hear and to answer our prayer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, Father, we just want to tell you thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for the word that came forth on tonight, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, how you reminded us, Lord God, that we must seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and those other things that we want or we need, Lord God, you're going to add it to us, Lord God. God, somebody needs you right now, Lord God. Somebody's worrying about a situation. Somebody's worrying about a circumstance. Lord, we know that you're able to do all things. Lord, we ask that you fix it, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you turn it around, Lord God. Oh, God, we know that you're able, Lord God. Father, we know, Lord God, that you're able to heal, Lord God. Somebody's standing in the need of a healing, Lord God. Oh, God, you got the healing in the hem of your garment, Lord God. Oh, God, we just thank you, Lord God, because we know that you're going to do it, Lord God. God, we just lift up, Lord God, our charity family, Lord God, one by one and name by name. Lord God. Father God, we lift up our pastor, Lord God. Oh God, that you will strengthen him, Lord God. That you will keep him, Lord God. Oh God, that we ask that you bless, Lord God, our first lady, Lord God. Sister Carolyn Rivers, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I want to ask for a special prayer, Lord God, for those who, who are dealing with this virus, Lord God. Father God, there's nothing too hard for you, Lord God. Oh God, I ask that you touch right now, Lord God. That you will heal right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know you're able, Lord God. Oh God, we need you right now. Lord God, like never before, Lord, we need a Savior. Hallelujah. In these times, Lord God. And then, Lord God, when you do these things, Lord God, we'll be careful, Lord God, to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Let our hearts say amen. Amen and amen. Truly, we just thank and praise God for uh, what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard and truly what our heart have felt on tonight. Amen. I, I pray that you all have been blessed, that you've been encouraged on tonight. And so just be reminded that we need to put first things first. At this time, we can stand and uh, be dismissed. Amen. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you, Lord God. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done in this house. We thank you for your presence, Lord God. Thank you for the word on tonight, Lord God. 
from your humble servant, Lord God. Father God, we ask, Lord God, that when we go to our various destination, that you will keep us safe, Lord God, that you will bind the hands of the enemy from all accident, any mechanical problem in the name of Jesus. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless to our wise God and dominion power in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.